Same seat, market stockbroking. Julia, I might start with you and just get your thoughts on the session today. It was a good session on the Aussie market, up by 0.6%. And I guess really the only game in town this week are the central banks in particular, the FOMC and the European Central Bank. The market is watching to see whether Mario Draghi is just simply bluffing. And I guess the countdown is on until he has to show his hands. So the market are rising in anticipation of that, but also still a bit of a bias towards some of those safe haven assets. And in August as well as September, we do see a lot of the companies on the Australian market paying dividends. And that's been a strong supporter of prices. In fact, if we have a look at some of the stocks which reached 52 weeks high today, they're the likes of Telstra, Woolworths, Commonwealth Bank, Coca-Cola, Amatel. Now, with the exception of Woolworths, all of these companies do pay their dividends in August. Woolworths comes out and pays its dividend. It goes ex-dividend in September. So dividend season is certainly supportive of prices. If we have a look at it in terms of sectors, though, with some of those areas which were beaten down in the month of July, which really came back today. We saw the energy sector, the property sector, as well as the material space doing well. In fact, if we have a look at the top three performing stocks on the ASX 200 today, there were Bathurst Resources, Linus, as well as Aquila Resources. And these have been some of the underperformers in the month of July. But some good volumes coming through the market, $4.2 billion worth of stock being traded. And a lot of those uh, defensive high yielding stocks reaching a year high today. Likely to hear from the ECB and I suppose potential reactions on market? The base case scenario and what the market is pricing in at the moment is bond buying by the European Central Bank and that's a revival of the security market program and that's really what's expecting the marketplace. If we see more than that, such as a banking license for the European Stability Mechanism or an ejection of funds, that's actually more than what the market is expecting and that would be extremely positive for the market. But it at this stage of the game, the market is expecting to hear of bond buying of Spanish as well as Italian debt to bring down the, some of those unsustainable yields. So really just expecting more kicking the can down the road, another Band-Aid uh, or a bit more plaster onto the wound. So at the moment, I'm not expecting to see a massive uh, shift in terms of what's been seen so far, but really just another Band-Aid solution to get some of that unsustainable uh, level of borrowing costs for Italy as well as Spain down. Of course, if we have a look at the Aussie market, we have been rising in anticipation that we will see some good news coming out of the European Central Bank. So indeed, if we hear of a bond buying program, I guess it, um, what matters is the size of it and the aim of it. And uh, we could even see a sell on the fact, depending on the announcement that comes out of the European Central Bank. And of course, some of the talking that will be done by Mario Draghi at the end of that ECB meeting as well. But at the moment, we are seeing intervention in the market simply through talk. And those comments coming through from Mario Draghi last week have certainly buoyed the markets this week. A lot of anticipation uh, building. And now it's just a case of whether he's going to deliver. In terms of the Australian market, I guess one of the uh, things that has been, um, uh, I guess, stood out has been the, the strength of the Aussie dollar. Usually the Aussie dollar moves in conjunction with commodity prices. So when we see commodity prices relatively weak, the Aussie dollar, which is known as a commodity currency, also falls. But we haven't really seen that at this stage and it does look like investors all over the globe are looking for yield and not only are they looking for yield uh, through the currency market but often a trade that is quite popular is to invest in the Aussie dollar and th then invest in the Australian banks the big four banks because of the high yields as well so the the talk of a, a, a hedge fund going short in the Aussie share market I guess um, that there has to be some sort of evidence of that we're not seeing it come through on the the shorting lists uh, for ASIC and there is reported uh, shorting on uh, short short positions um, in the marketplace and we haven't seen those banks really standing out so I guess another look at that but of course another uh, very popular trade is investing in the Aussie dollar and then in the Aussie banks for the yield. Also the reaction on market was some suggestions that look, it might have been a little bit overdone in terms of that initial sell-off. I think some big alarm bells ringing are for this space and the market's been looking out for it for a while and the commentary that we got from Campbell Brothers are today just uh, confirming what the market has been thinking and if we have a look at some of the commentary which has come through from Campbell Brothers and if I just read a comment uh, that came through from the company today that the signs potential weakening in global resources has moved now from speculation to some real signs mm. on the gr ground that uh, equity raisings by junior explorers are significant has been significantly down for many months we're seeing 
seeing some of those junior explorers trying to conserve uh, capital and trying to cut back on exploration. And if we have a look at Campbell Brothers' core business, most of their earnings comes from ALS, which is the mineral and environment testing part, which of course is driven by mining exploration. So uh, in terms of the second half, they're, they're, they are expecting to see some sort of uh, slowdown coming through in earnings. And just that reaction on Mark was absolutely so savage. Mm. Um, so the market had been expecting it, but to, just to get confirmation of it, I guess just really crystallized some of those fears that have been in the market for a while. Yeah, Michael, any